Hi crew, welcome back to the Cocktail Blog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm featuring two yellow chartreuse cocktails, namely the Yellow Jacket. The Yellow Jacket, there's actually a couple of different variations uh, and they're again, they're quite different from one another. So they, they share the same name, they share the Yellow Chartreuse, but they are very different cocktails. Uh, the first being created by the team from Employees Only. They feature it in their Speakeasy cocktail book and it features Reposado Tequila, Elderflower Liqueur and Yellow Chartreuse. And that's a stirred cocktail. And the second cocktail we'll be doing features uh, Yellow Chartreuse, Gin, Lemon Juice and Honey. So it's essentially a, a twist on a bee's knees with Yellow Chartreuse. And that's a shaken drink. So tequila and gin, stirred and shaken. Thought it'd be kind of cool to compare the two considering they share the same name. So out of all the mixing glasses that I have, this is actually my favorite. I, I have probably about 10 different mixing glasses that have different etchings and like diamond cut patterns that look, well, most people think they look stunning, but I actually really like the simplistic of mixing glasses, of glassware, of garnishes, of cocktails in general. I like, I like things nice and simple and clean lines. Onto the drink, let's get started. <laughs> I don't know why I went on that run. Brilliant. So this one calls for a Reposado tequila. I'm using uh, Dolce Vita, which is an organic tequila, 60 ml, two ounces. And I thought this was an interesting combination of elderflower and Reposado tequila. 30 ml, one ounce. And I'm using Fiorente, which is an Italian uh, elderflower liqueur. Most people would probably be very familiar with Saint Germain, which is a French elderflower liqueur. Uh, key difference being that the Saint Germain is using fresh elderflower flowers, florets, or whatever you like to call them. Uh, Fiorente is an Italian elderflower liqueur and it uses dried elderflower uh, with the addition of mint. So it's got a, a it's very, very subtle, sort of grassy, minty kind of note to it. Uh, then we have yellow chartreuse. Sweet honeyed herbal liqueur. 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. And orange bitters, uh, I can't remember if it was one or two dashes, I'm gonna go two. Thank you to Daniel O'Regan for buying the back bar. Two hefty dashes. So this is my second stirred tequila cocktail in the last like week or so. And I'm trying to think of other stirred cocktails that I've done, maybe like the Oaxaca old fashioned but I can't think of any others. If you guys have done a stirred tequila cocktail or a stirred mezcal cocktail, let me know in the comments below and I'll add it to my list of to-dos. Plenty of ice into your mixing glass and then stir for 30, 40 seconds. I've mentioned this before, I'm using a vintage kind of julep strainer that has a little kink in the neck. I love this little feature. It's, it's such a small feature, but it just makes it so it sits nicely on the edge of the mixing glass and just makes it really nice and easy to strain. Oop, for some reason I'm pouring it everywhere. And for garnish, just a nice twist of lemon peel. I really need to work on my garnish game, but uh, there's a twist of citrus on the side for a garnish. I'll probably just use a tiny little bit just to twist it in the drink itself. Discard that. And there you have a yellow jacket from the team from employees only. Cheers. It has a really nice color to it. Like a straw yellow. bright citrusy notes from the, the citrus zest. And then you get those like floral elderflower notes to it. The yellow chartreuse is definitely the dominating of the two liqueurs. I think this is only about, the elderflower liqueur is about 20% as opposed to the yellow chartreuse, which is 43. So the elderflower is more of an accent to the, the herbal honeyed sweetness. 
uh, of the yellow chartreuse and the reposado as like the agave oaky notes to it. This is, again, I've had a couple of stir down uh, tequila drinks lately and I'm quite enjoying it. I thought it would have a little bit more brightness and acidity from the elderflower liqueur. I, I believe this does have a little bit of citric acid in the way of lemon juice or lemon acid in some way to make it a little bit a pop a little bit more. Um, yeah, this is really enjoyable. But on to cocktail number two. So the second version of the yellow jacket is a simple variation on the bee's knees. Bee's knees being a classic cocktail featuring gin, lemon juice, and honey syrup. This simply has the addition of uh, yellow chartreuse. Gonna add some herbal notes to it, and sweet herbal notes, which uh, I think this is gonna be really, really good. Uh, I'm gonna start off by just peeling some of the lemon for my garnish because I'm using the lemon juice from this lemon. And then I'm measuring 60 ml, two ounces of gin. So I'm using Martin Miller's gin. Uh, this is their West Westbourne strength, which is 45%. Juniper forward, this one. Then we have 15 ml, half an ounce of yellow chartreuse. 30 ml, one ounce of fresh lemon juice. Damn. I love this knife. And last ingredient, honey syrup. This is two to one. So two parts honey, one part water. 15 ml, half an ounce. Plenty of ice into your shaker and shake for 12 to 15 seconds. And that's double strained into a chilled coupe glass. I'm keeping this garnish nice and simple. Just a rustic twist and drop that straight in. There you have the bee's knees variation of the yellow jacket. Cheers. Tasty, but the surprisingly the yellow chartreuse gets a little bit lost in that. I mean, uh, the honey, uh, just just dominates that cocktail. I want to see more of that yellow chartreuse in there. Unlike the cocktail before, where that was the dominating flavor. Mm. It's good, don't get me wrong. It's worth a try. If you've got a bottle of yellow chartreuse, you love your bee's knees, give it a shot. Personally, I'd probably increase the yellow chartreuse just a tad. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments below which version of the yellow jacket cocktail you would prefer the employees only version, stirred down, or bee's knees variation shaken. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.